Yo guys, it's Mr. Exploit, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download, install, and execute scripts on Roblox using Valex. So in my previous video, I tried out Bunny. Bunny was absolutely terrible. It crashed on SUNC. It crashed on validity test. It crashed on decompiling and save instance. It crashed on every script I tried to execute. So I'm hoping that with Valex, we have a much better experience right now. Because as you guys know, Roblox updated the anti-cheat, and so far, every executor that's managed to support it is a crash fest apart from wave wave is probably one of the only most stable executors right now i haven't tried cellyware so i can't comment on them but today's video is all about valex so let's not waste any more time let's get into this so you want to start by clicking the link in the description below it's going to take you over to this website right here once you're on this website you can download the new version of valex valex v2 hopefully like i said it performs much better than bunny click on download it's going to give you two options an executor or an external if you into jeffrey epstein and p diddy then you might want to download the external because it has a built-in penis esp which i do not recommend unless obviously you're a big fan of jeffrey epstein where well, i'm going to be downloading the executor today so we're going to select executor and it's going to download the executor folder if it if you have any problems with the folder being blocked with the download getting blocked head over to your browser settings this should be universal by the way so for firefox brave browser all these other browsers you should have similar settings head over to privacy and security head over to security and where it says safe browsing right underneath this you want to select no protection so once you've downloaded valex drag the folder to your desktop or wherever you keep your executors right click click on extract all extract and it's going to extract it to your desktop once we've extracted valex we are now pretty much good to go make sure to either disable windows defender or exclude the valex folder okay so we've launched valex we've done the key system there is a key system for this executor by the way so the first thing we're going to execute is the sunc test after we've done the sunc test we are going to execute the validity test so i've made a new tab here we've got sunc we've got validity let me just go to my notepad so we've got this test if you don't know what the validity test is it's another test like SUNC see I don't like to use SUNC or validity to measure how good an executor actually is they're okay but you shouldn't really rely on them for how good an executor is or not because the way that SUNC tests for a function an executor might have it implemented differently and on SUNC it says it doesn't have the function but in reality it does so remember that for the future when doing tests and the last script we're gonna try is we're gonna try this save instance script right here. In fact, we're gonna use this one instead. We're gonna try this save instance and decompiler. So we've got three different scripts right now that we're about to test, SUNC, validity test, and the save instance script, which I've just copy and pasted into here right now. So we're attaching Valex right now. It does look very similar to Bunny, but like I said, hopefully they've made a bit more better changes than Bunny because Bunny was absolutely horrendous performance wise. So we've executed the SUNC test. Let's see what happens. Hopefully Valex can run this. Okay, we actually managed to run the SUNC test with Valex. We got a 98% success rate with replicate signal failing. But like I said, you shouldn't 100% rely on SUNC test because Valex could very well have replicate signal. It's just the way that SUNC tests for it. It doesn't show up properly on the SUNC test. So next up is the validity test. So we're about to run the validity test right now. We'll see if it crashes, but because it ran SUNC test, I'm pretty confident it's gonna be able to complete this. Yes, it has. By the way, all these results will be in the description as well if you guys wanna check it out yourself. So with the validity test, we had 122 functions tested, 90 of those functions passed, 32 failed. Like I said, links in the description if you guys wanna go check this out. Next up is save instance and decompile on Grower Garden. Okay, so we've attached to grow a garden. We're about to execute the save instance script and this is the modified save instance script. So this one should be much harder to run than the normal version. We'll see if Valex can handle this right now. It looks like it might have crashed. We'll find out. Oh, no, in the top right corner, it might actually work. We'll find out if it works. So there we go. It took 113 seconds to save everything on the client side, but it did take a long time to decompile all the scripts. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close grow a garden. We're going to head over to our workspace folder in Valex and we're going to open up this file and see if it works correctly. So this is the game we just decompiled. If I head over to replicated storage and I click on one of these module scripts, we should be able to see what decompiler they're using. 
wow they're using the constant decompiler which i was not expecting i was expecting at least the metal decompiler but no this is using constant so decompiler not the best in the world but at least the save instance works you can see we got all the models and everything saved so that's pretty cool so the last test i have for valex is executing ziki hub on forsaken if it can handle this i'm completely happy with valex and it's way better than bunny right now so let's see it looks like everything's going fine. Okay, we should be good. So we're about to find out when the next round starts, but everything's looking fine right now. So this appears to be working fine right now. Valex, it's way better than Bunny. I'd highly recommend Valex right now until Volcano updates. Volcano should update today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. This is how to get Valex in November 2025. But if you're watching this in the future, it should still be the exact same. If not, then don't worry. Just check out some of my more recent videos. And I should have done an updated guide on this if you happen to be watching this in the future. If not, just leave a comment. Say, Mr. Exploit, can you please do an updated guide for this executor, please? Comment down below what you guys want to see next. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.